What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. What is up? In today's video, I am just going to show you how to remove keycaps from my EUSO Z19 keyboard. This will work for really any mechanical keyboard that has keycaps that can come off, which should be pretty much every mechanical keyboard. Um, it, keep in mind, I have other videos on how to remove keycaps. This one is more so meant for those looking specifically for how to do it on the EUSO Z19. But again, this translates to really any mechanical keyboard. I'm going to start off by removing some of these smaller switches or sorry, not switches, caps, and then something like the shift maybe, and then the space bar, which I know is usually the trickiest or the one that most people are worried about taking off the most. So let's start off with this alt because it's the same size as these caps up here. So the way I like to do it is I usually get this remover tool, this keycap removal tool. And I highly recommend you get this one and not the plastic red ones that have like a small ring. And yeah, those will just scratch up your caps. So I highly recommend you get this one. And what you're going to do is, at least this is how I like to do it, is you just kind of push it down so that it's kind of covering like so. And then I turn it just a little bit. So that way it is covering on both corners of the cap. And then I just lift up. Keep in mind, some caps will stay in between the wires. Some will just fly off. So just keep that in mind when you're working on this. Don't do it somewhere really crowded with a lot of junk because it might get lost in the junk. But yeah, that's how you move it. It was super easy as you can see. And now we just have this beautiful little blue switch down here. So now let's remove this old key as well. It's a little bit bigger. Again, you're just putting it down, turning it for the corners and then pulling it up. We'll do the shift, which is of course a little bit bigger. And I still do the same thing with the wire because as you can see, it is stretchy. So I can pretty much put it across and then just pull it straight up. And you're going to notice some caps like this uh, shift Go and refocus that have three places where it's connected. So you just want to keep that in mind. That might be why sometimes it's a little bit harder to pull off certain switches. So we go and refocus that for the space bar now. Now this one, you don't use the tool. At least I don't use the tool. I use my fingers and that's why I took off the two caps on the side. So this way I can get my fingers underneath and just pull straight up. As you see, it came off pretty easily. And another thing, and this isn't true for every mechanical keyboard, but you'll notice this one had three connection points as well. So that's why I do it from the ends. So that way I'm not breaking it. Cause if you were to just pull off one side, it might break a switch or bend it a little bit or break the cap. So just keep that in mind. But overall, you shouldn't be too worried. Hopefully this was easy to follow. If you need me to do a better video or explanation, let me know in the comments, or if you need me to take more caps off so you get a better idea, just let me know and I would be happy to make you another video. See y'all next time.